All right, welcome back. It's the Business Insight and Plus TV uh, Africa. In his inaugural speech, President Mohammed, uh, sorry, Bola Ahmed Tinubu announced the need to unify multiple exchange rates in the country. Uh, Tinubu said fuel subsidy was no longer sustainable as it is taking a deep toll on the economy. According to him, the monetary policy structure is set to undergo house cleaning. Now, the president believes that a unified interest rate will drive investment that will foster economic growth. I still have uh, Mokhtar with me. Mokhtar, just explain to us in lay terms uh, for the common man to understand, what does a unified forex rate mean and what is the essence of it all? Well, the unified forex rate means that we won't have a bulky effect <laughs> <laughs> and then you have uh, import uh, government uh, price, you know. Yeah. So we have one rate. But again, this is not okay, science. We have achieved it before. Mm. I keep saying that we've been we will have unified exchange rates for a while uh, at that time, but then you could say it was being driven by CBN because CBN at that time was giving supply to the parallel market. We have unified exchange rate, but we started having challenge. Always when we start having challenge, unified exchange rate is when we have a um, when we have an uh, external uh, shock in the system like the COVID nineteen pandemic, the Russian Ukraine crisis. It's where the COVID nineteen pandemic. Before that time, we have a we have had a uniform exchange rate of three. 360 to 355 to mm. between the naira and the dollar, both in the parallel market and in the in the in, in the government uh, import export window. And at that time, we were attracting them um, foreign investors also into our market. But COVID came and there was a disruption, and that has been why we've not had to unify exchange rate. Mm. We now then the national CBN now came up and said, look, we are no more uh, sub supplying the uh, FX to the uh, parallel market. But in doing that, they did not create another market for those people that used to assess the FX market. And we saw the exchange rate move to the level it is today. So unified exchange rate means that we have only one exchange rate. Whether you go to the bank, mm. whether you go to 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 to, to the man on the street. Yeah. That's what it basically means. Okay, fine. In the wake of all of this now, you know, just last week, uh, there were talks that um, the CBN actually devalued the currency and um, there was a counter report uh, for the CBN denying that uh, it did not uh, devalue the currency. So the question right now, this unified rate, would it in any way lead to currency devaluation? I think it will. I think it will. We must look, we must look at 70 face and say it will because now... Um, is is the current price of the naira to the dollar in the in the import export window the real value of the naira to the dollar? I don't think so yet because of the challenges. Mm. And if we have been any effect into our economy, then maybe I would have said, okay, yes, yeah, the unified rate is okay. But again, we've not been any efforts. We've not been able to meet demands, especially in the area of demand, and we have not been able to attract supply. So that means your exchange rate is not it's not market friendly. Okay. So unified exchange is market friendly rate, whereby investors will begin to come into Nigeria to buy um, some of these. Uh, um, uh, that investors will begin to come into Nigeria because they want to have the uh, they will bring in their efforts because they know that they will have return both portfolio and foreign direct investors. Mm -hmm. Those are those are what we are um, um, uh, expecting that the unified exchange rate we we do for our economy. All right, I must say a very big thank you to you. I have been speaking with Mukhtar Mohammed, international finance and analyst, and of course an economist. Thank you so much for all of the useful insight that you have brought on the show this morning. My pleasure, Justin. Have a great day. Thank all you. All right. And that's where we will be drawing the curtains on today's um, edition. Uh, Business Insight will return again tomorrow. Uh, we'll still keep our eye on the fuel subsidy removal, but this time around, we'll look at the effect on food security. You just want to join us for that for tomorrow. My name is Justin Akadonia. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.